Hello guys, welcome back to the Cinematic Mike channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. The unboxing I'm doing it to is a movie that came out like about two, three years ago. It came out in 2020. I missed out on this one around that time. It was um, for certain reasons. I barely got it because there was a sale going on on the Criterion Collection. This is the Criterion Collection. Um, so I got it now because of the flash sale. I, I was all on it and then I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I didn't pick up that movie and I want that one. And the only one who actually sells that one on Blu-ray and DVD is actually the Criterion Collection. So I picked it up, I bought it and it came really quick. And it's Martin Scorsese's The Irishman. So here is Martin Scorsese's The Irishman right here. This is the front. There's the director proof sticker. Um, the cover of it, which is basically like a painting of with the rings when they're sitting down across from one another. This is the back right here. And then it's the spine right there. Another spine right here. And so let's open it up. This is cool because I didn't get it around the time I wanted it. And now I have it, which is exciting. Uh, I actually been to um, Barnes and Noble and seen this in there. But I haven't seen it actually with this box anymore. And I know it came like this around the time that it was going to come out, which is the way I wanted it. I've seen it just like with the basic like cut the box of it uh, without an actual cover to it. I've seen it in there, but it doesn't come like this. So when it was coming in, I was all like, oh, I hope they don't send it to me like that. If they are, then I'm probably going to return it. And then I was surprised because it actually came like this, which is neat. I love that it came like this. And man, this box is nice, actually. I'm in love with this box, this cover, this art cover. Um, so here's Martin Scorsese's The Irishman right there. And then here is the back. And yes, yeah, Spine again, The Irishman, which is nice. The Irishman. This is cool. And so is this, the Criterion Collection is dedicated to the greatest. Yeah, I know that stuff. I'm trying to see if it has this Blu-ray edition director approved to. I keep forgetting that it's always like right here, the where it talks about it. So it's director approved two Blu-ray special edition features, a uh, new 4K digital master approved by di director Martin Scorsese with Dolby Atmos soundtrack, newly edited roundtable conversation among Scorsese and actors Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci, originally recorded in 2019, making The Irishman a new program featuring Scorsese, the lead actors, producers, Emma Tillinger, Koskov, Jane Rosenthal, and Erwin Winkler, director of photography to Rodrigo Prieto, and others from the cast and crew, Gangster's Requiem, a new video essay by film critic Ferran Smith Nam about the Irishman synthesis of Scorsese's singular formal style, Anatomy of a Scene, The Irishman, a 2020 program featuring Scorsese's analysis of the Frank Sheeran appreciation night scene from the film, The Evolution of Digital De-Aging, a 2009 program on the visual effects created to the film, um, excerpt interviews with Frank the Irishman Sheeran and Teamsters trade union leader Jimmy Hoffa from 1999 and 1963, trailer and teaser, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, plus an essay by critic Geo Jeffrey O'Brien. Um, yeah, so I think um, usually with these, it's the same thing I felt with Roma where I had already seen it because I think Netflix puts it on what's on the special features because when I got Roma and I think the special features of those and I looked at them, I'm like, oh, I already saw that because Netflix had it on there. Or I think I saw it first on there on my physical copy. And then I saw that Netflix put it up on their thing. So it's the same thing, I think. So I think I might have already seen all of these. I'm still going to give it a try to see if I maybe I have it and I'm going to see something new. And The Irishman is a film that I did love by Martin Scorsese. I mean, it got me excited because I'm a fan of his classic films. Um, One of his films is in my top favorite five, which is Mean Streets. And I've been a fan of his ever since I was young, um, seeing his movies because my brothers and my sisters will put on their films. And I have loved it ever since Casino, Goodfellas. And then when I found out his stuff on my own, like Raging Bull, uh, Bringing Out the Dead, um, Mean Streets, I found out on my own. I don't even think um, my brothers and sisters knew about that. They only knew like Goodfellas and Casinos. <laughs> that, that's it, I think. And The Departed also, I was a big fan of that. That was when I was getting into movies as I was getting older. And the reason this was exciting for me was because one, it was Robert De Niro and Al Pacino and Joe Pesci were coming back together. First of all, it's the first time in a long time that Robert De Niro and Al Pacino were coming back together ever since the movie Heat. And then um, Joe Pesci also was coming back, which he came out of retirement, which was awesome. Not only that, as I said, Mean Streets was 
uh, Mean Streets is on my on my one of my top five. And the other person that comes in here is Harvey Cattell. And Harvey Cattell and Robert De Niro are basically the main stars in Mean Street. So that's what got me excited. And going back to the crime gangster drama about it, I was like, oh, hell yeah, that's cool just to go back to there again. I know he gets picked on because they know him just to make the gangster films and all that. But I actually love that he went back, going back there because I think it had been some time since he did the whole gangster thing in a while. So uh, and all the films that he did in between were actually great, too, as well. So I'm glad that I picked this up. Um, I went to go see this at the, what was it again? The Egyptian Theater, I believe, on in Hollywood. Uh, when it came out, the weekend that it came out or the day that it came out. And I remember it was packed. I was in the line and it was all packed. Everyone was lining up for the Scorsese picture. Um, I have some actual things that they gave me. I'm not sure if I sh showed it last time when I, if I did a review on it. I'm not even sure if I did a review on The Irishman. But yeah, I had a, some postcards. I think I did do a review on it. It should be up there. And yeah, they give me these like classic like cards from back then that you get at the movie theaters and all that. So it was fun. I remember it. And it's, I'm just really happy to have it in my collection right now. I'm going to take it out. So here we go. And what I can see is Joe Pesci. You guys can see Robert De Niro as I can see right there. That's Robert De Niro. Yeah. So that's Robert De Niro's face right there. On my side right here is Joe Pesci. So that's what I saw when I pulled it out right there and then it's nice it's all like like a painting you know and it reminds me of how he says um i heard you like to paint houses and you know because of the blood and all that so it's cool um man shot to death here it is oh al pacino right there al pacino so some of you guys probably already saw this unboxing because it came out a long time ago but i wanted to share mine and then oh i love that red on it the disc it's not so plain or anything says so the irishman the criterion collection right there there's like a little booklet or something right here yeah ah there it is i heard you paint houses blood splattered on the wall and so that's the criterion collection. why is it so this is kind of odd Oh, okay, okay. So I'm thinking. Oh, no, they're both Blu ray. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's separated because of the long thing again. It might be, but I don't know. Maybe it's just another one's a special feature. I have to figure that out later. So the Irishman and the Irishman right there on that side, too. Two discs right there. And so that's for that right there. Um. Put that to the side really quick. Here is the booklet that comes with that. I heard you paint houses, blood splattered on the wall. And here's the scene where they're at the table eating. Nice little cinematography by um, Rodrigo Prieto. Bobby Cannavale. Right there, um, one of my favorite actors because of Boardwalk Empire. You know, Martin Scorsese directed the pilot of Boardwalk Empire, which made it exciting too. Um, Boardwalk Empire is my number one favorite show of all time. The Wages of Loyalty. Al Pacino. Yeah, a lot of things I'm going to read on here about the movie. So really nice to get to know. There's Martin Scorsese directing right there. The film at that time about the master. So yeah, master of cinema right there. Um, this scene really got to me in the theater, in the scene right here. Um, and you could have, you felt it right when, um, when being in the room with the audience, I remember that, that. You, you felt that whole energy in the room of like the sadness, this heartbreak of that scene. Um, because believe it or not, but that movie was actually kind of funny throughout. Um, there's a lot of funny scenes in that film. And then when it got to this like last half of it, it gets kind of depressing and it gets heartbreaking. And that scene right there, really, you could feel it like all in the room when you saw it in the theater. So that was the great thing about that film. Um, it was an amazing film. I loved it. And I'm glad I saw it in the theater. The only way to see a Martin Scorsese picture is in the theater. The only way to see any picture is actually in the theater, especially from your favorite directors. You guys should watch it in the theater. 
So I think that's about it. I don't think there's much. Um, the only thing I would wish about this Criterion thing is to put like a little pouch or something so that, you know, this book doesn't just like slip out. So it'd be cool if they would have put like a pouch or something in it. Um, but yeah, other than that, that was a little thing that I wanted to share with you guys because that was my recent buy or my collection, which was the Criterion's The Irishman. Um, I didn't pick it up in 2020, but now I did with the flash sale. I'm like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to jump on it right away. Again, I didn't know if it was going to come like this because I haven't seen it like this in a while. I only seen it. Um, I haven't seen it like this. I've seen it in the way that I got. Um, I think I have. Now I'm getting confused, but I do believe that I've seen it in the way that I have. Um, What's the one that I got last? Um, Miller's Crossing, the way that one didn't come with the slipcover and it's just the box. Um. I believe I saw it like that and that's why I didn't want to pick it up. I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to get it like that because I know it comes all neat like this and everything. So I'd rather get that. And that's why I took the risk in getting it in the flash sale. And I was I was already thinking, I was like, oh, they're going to send it to me like that maybe. But then I opened the box and it came really fast, like two days or a day. I was like, oh, damn, it's already here. And I opened it. And I'm like, well, I think I'm going to send it back. But then I looked, it was at the bottom and it came the way I wanted it. It's neat. As you guys saw, it was sealed and everything. So yeah, there's my Irishman. Um, collector uh the criterion collection so yeah guys uh let me know what you guys think and if you guys enjoyed my video please hit that like button and subscribe and as always thank you for watching